Let's learn about the anatomy and physiology of esophagus in a minute. So the esophagus is a fibromuscular tube and it is 25 centimeters long and extends from C6 to T11. The esophagus has three constrictions namely the pharyngeoesophageal constriction which is at a level of C6 or 15 centimeters from the incisors. The second constriction is caused by the arch of aorta and the left main bronchus. Now this is at a level of T4 or a distance of 25 centimeters from the incisors. The third constriction is by the diaphragm which is at a level of T10 or it is at a distance of 40 centimeters from the incisors. Now the esophagus has striated muscle in the upper one third and smooth muscle in the lower one third whereas in the middle one third it has mixed fibers of both striated and smooth muscles. The esophagus has two sphincters. The upper esophageal sphincter is caused by the cricopharyngeus muscle and the lower esophageal sphincter is by the fibers of the diaphragm. The esophagus is lined by non-keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium and its wall has four layers namely the mucosa, submucosa, muscular layer and fibrous layer. It also has two plexuses namely the mesonous plexus which lies in the submucosa and the orbax plexus which lies between the inner circular muscles and the outer longitudinal muscles. Coming to the vasculature of esophagus, the arterial supply for the cervical esophagus is from the inferior thyroid artery. For the thoracic part is supplied by the descending aorta and the abdominal part is supplied by the left gastric artery. The venous drainage is also by the inferior thyroid vein, the azygos vein, the hemiazygos vein and the left gastric vein. The process of swallowing or deglutition has three stages namely the oral phase where the food is made into a bolus and the tongue is elevated against the soft palate and the food is propelled into the pharynx and then starts the pharyngeal phase where there is closure of nasopharynx, closure of oropharynx and closure of the larynx. Then starts the esophageal phase where the food is propelled into the esophagus and it moves down by the peristalsis and then the lower esophageal sphincter relaxes and food enters into the stomach. Thank you.